many of you have given neat and 90% of the student couldn't make into mbbs and now you guys are thinking to get into bds and have no idea be very honest i was in your condition once and i chose bds and to be very very specific i am very happy with my profession and i love giving smiles to people i love correcting their smiles i know it's really confusing and hard to make a decision because uh, for some of the student it must be a first attempt for some of the student it must be a second or third or fourth and now you are tired and you are thinking to just get into the medical line as you just want to see doctor in front of your name and i can totally relate and i have been getting tons and tons of messages on instagram on fb and on even on linkedin what will be the best career for you after 12 if you are not able to get into mbbs so i am going to help you through this and guide you in my best way possible as i will be mentioning everything in this video the scope of dentistry what is the salary of a dentist how a dentist can become successful so stay tuned till the end are you guys ready let's start Hello assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Dr Nida Sheikh from Dental Magic if you are new here then welcome if you are already been a dental magic family then welcome back before getting on to the video i have few questions for you guys to answer very honestly you don't have to answer me you have to answer yourself so the first question is why you want to opt for dentistry do you really want to do bds or it just you want to get into something and don't want to waste much more time and do you really think bds is your thing so answer these three question to yourself write it on a paper and be honest to yourself then only you can decide the best things for yourself So the very first thing that I want to tell you here is nobody talks about is you if you are introvert then dentistry is not for you because you have to be the people's person you have to meet different different kind of person and you have to be on the front line nobody is going to take up for you So there are uh, many people who are on the ready scent and want to chill and want to be in a cubicle they want to be behind the computers and be on their notepad doing their thing if you think that you want life like that then dentistry is not for you because in dentistry you have to be the first line person you have to deal with the patient old people young people teenage kids in every sort of people and you have to even manage your staff and you have to manage your assistant dental hygienist everything and you have to communicate with them well and if your communication skills are not that good and uh, you cannot speak up front to the people then that is not a good sign because the dentist general dentist has to create a rapport with their patient no matter what age they are so that the patient can trust and rely on their dentist so the basic rule is if you're not confident enough in yourself then they won't be confident because this is something that patient feels this is in the aura if you are not confident patient feels is and they don't want to go further with you as many of you are there that who thinks that uh, dentistry dentistry is just about a teeth what is there in it to study about it's really easy so let me clear before getting into this thing you should know what bds is in india the bds curriculum the whole a uh, graduation time is for approx 4 plus 1 year 4 years of academics and 1 year of internship that you have to do in every de department of the dentistry now dentistry have different different department the first one is pedo periodontics orthodontics oral surgery and maxillofacial surgery and oral medicine and radiology oral pathology prosthodontics public health and to and conservative and periodontics so these are the departments that you have to deal with the misconception in everyone's mind is that dentistry is much more easier than the mbbs or any other stream 
So let me clear this misconception. Dentistry is not at all easy. We we also have exams, we have assignments, we have patients, we have uh, some uh, uh, demo preclinical works that we have to do and submit, and we have to we are tested on that skills also. I am not talking about the first year. In first year, we have the introduction of the me medical subjects like human anatomy. Medical subjects along with that, we also have the dental anatomy and dental histology. in which we do uh, tooth waxing and uh, we carve the tooth on the wax and we have to uh, know all the anatomical landmarks along with that we also study the medical subjects the first year of dentistry is similar like the medicine first year we also study the uh, medicines and the diseases human anatomy all the various diseases of the body plus content based module it's all related with the mouth and the oral cavity for an instant uh, if a patient comes to me and he is a heart patient if i don't know about the uh, anything about the medicine and these uh, human anatomy and diseases i cannot correlate it with the dentistry because do, if a person have a heart disease then it comes along with the many problem in the oral cavity also they they have oral infection gum swelling and teeth infection so it's really important for us to study the human body and their diseases and how they are related to the dentistry so if you will step into the dental course and graduation the in the first year you will not feel at all that you are you are a dental student it's almost similar to the medicine students in actual fact everything does related to dentistry talking about the second year we are introduced to the prosthodontics in which we replace the missing teeth in a patient and the other subject is the endodontics and conservative in which we do filling and rcts so in this you are not, you are not directly given uh, the patient and uh, you are asked to do the filling or rct and stuff but in this second year you will be learning the pre clinical works you will be given the model of a tooth and you will be doing all things on learning things on that now some of you will be uh, excellent in the pre clinical work and their work will be get signed and get stars in one go and some will get rejections multiple times but trust me this pre clinical work doesn't decide your future so don't get disheartened marks and skills training never decide your future so keep this thing in mind every time there will be lot of rejections there will be failure but you don't have to lose your heart you have to keep it up and just keep going trust the process and you will come out in flying colors i want to add a small thing here and let you know that uh, once in year once you are in the dentist school two things can happen the first one is you love the profession the other thing is you'll hate the profession so the time you realize which one is the thing that you are facing you have to decide your future now talking about the third year in this you will be introduced to the oral pathology oral pathology is a subject in which you will be closely observing the different type of diseases mouth diseases oral cavity diseases on the slide all the cancers and the tumors you will be analyzing how they look on the slide how the cells are formed and everything that are included in the cell generation and how they can be controlled and what are the treatment and these are the things that you will be learn and the fourth year will be completely completely your dental subjects none of the medical subjects it will be all nine uh, subjects that you have to deal with then after fourth year comes the internship that will be a uh, one month internship in every uh, every department and there are nine departments so in this uh, there is a fixed amount of time that you will be posted in each of the department and you will be doing only the patient Now I hope you have got an overview about the dental school. See, dentistry is a very lucrative stream uh, if you choose. You don't have to be good in specific subject or you have to uh, score hundred percent in uh, any specific subject to get into it or to become a successful dentist. With time, you'll definitely create a field of interest in the specific department or the subject related to dentistry. If not, if not. 
if you feel that dentistry is not right for you or it's not the right decision for you then let me tell you dentistry have both clinical aspect and non clinical aspect so you can go in a corporate uh, corporate jobs also after bbs so uh, you can offer that if you are interested to know about the career after bbs then you can go and watch my video as i have already made it. But there are certain students who are like, no, I only want MBBS. I don't want to go into BDS. BDS sir doesn't have any scope or such things. But tell me one thing: if you are doing MBBS, can you guarantee that you will become a successful doctor? You will be very successful and earn in millions. Can you guarantee that? Even after MBBS, you will be thinking, oh, uh, MBBS is not enough. I think I have to do MD or MS. Same with if you do go uh, if you do BDS also some of the thing some of the people think no BDS is enough and they are making a good career out of it, but some of the people will think no but uh, BDS is not enough I have to do MBS and then I'll be uh, going up in the stream and I'll be uh, doing great. So let me tell you the scope totally depends on you. Your success depends on you. Nobody no institute in this entire world. can guarantee you success can guarantee you earn in millions it totally depends on your skill set if you are doing mbbs then you have to dedicate dedicate yourself to the patient itself there is no day night there is no personal life but on the contrary dentist have a fixed amount of time they they have sundays they have their personal life and they earn a good amount keep this in mind whether you do mbbs whether you bds or any other stream in this entire world whatever you opt for you have to you have to work hard for it you are the one who will going to give scope to that thing and you are the one who is going to earn and give meaning to your profession now the next thing comes is are dentists jobless I just have a one question for the people who are spreading this negativity on social media and creating a very bad impact in people's mind that dentists are jobless. So here is the answer for all those people. Let me tell you and clear this thing that dentists are never meant to do job. They are their own boss, trained with certain skills that they don't barge about the jobs and interviews. They they can be their own boss and they can be the one who takes the in charge of everything around. Although there is a potential to earn a lot and a higher salaries in specific branches, but this is not the case for everyone. It's not particularly easy either. I have one question for you guys. Do you really think that after doing MBBS you will be earning in millions and billions and you will be having a lavish life? The answer is no, right? You also know that even after MBBS you have to struggle a lot and it takes time to settle down and be in that space. In MBBS also you had uh, kept in this thing in mind that you have to work a lot you have to study a lot there will be lie night shifts and uh, a lot many things that you have to have to do right same goes with the BDS we don't have night shifts the best thing is this and the other thing is that we do work hard we have studies we have medical subjects bds subjects along with that we also have to do non clinical work that will be helping us in the clinical work that that is known as the pre clinical work the demo work that we on do on the dummy or the tooth or uh, or the mannequin in bds you have two masters the skills that is the only key to get success See after BDS or before B during the BDS course, you have to uh, find a mentor for yourself. See, you have to keep this thing in your mind very clear that the things that you are doing in your college is totally different than what you do in a clinic or a hospital. They two are two different things. So. uh managing things in uh, college becomes easier because you have seniors you have uh, supportive staff and teachers and uh, you have so many guidance there right but in a clinic and a hospital you are all by yourself so it's really important for you to find a mentor if you do it during your uh, bds course then keep this thing in mind that you will not get be, you will not be getting paid it is just your learning phase and even though if you get paid after a certain period of time and getting trained that is the bonus thing 
and if you plan to do it after BDS, then one to two years you just keep in mind if you're getting you're not getting paid like you're getting five five k, seven k, ten k, then it's all right because one to two years it takes you to uh, get familiar with the clinic environment or the hospital environment, how the things work out and how you have to manage things. So you don't have to get disheartened about this. After one to two years, if you are confident enough that you are able to handle everything, every situation in your clinic, then you are free to walk out and be your own boss or do whatever you feel like. It is just the thing that you need a mentor while doing BDS or after BDS outside your college. And you cannot think that uh, dentistry, dentistry is like you get a degree and people will say, uh, come on, come do job for us. I'll pay you 50, I'll pay you 50,000 every month. You have a degree and stuff. No, the things never work out this way. You have to work really hard to get to that. And in your initial phase, like after the BDS, if you're getting uh, 10K to 25K, then it's all right. Because after you gain experience, you will definitely enhance your skills. And you are definitely going to earn a good amount. See, you have to be very transparent with yourself. Okay. You have to be very honest with yourself. So after coming out of the college, you, you are much aware of what you know best and what you don't know. So be open to learn everything. Accept the fact that, yes, I don't know this thing. I need to learn it. And it's okay because everyone, it's okay that every person doesn't know everything, each and everything. So accept that. Know your flaws, learn from your mistakes and get a better version of yourself in that field. Once you're confident enough, just walk out of that certain environment in which you are comfortable and do what you want. Now coming to the very important thing that is how to select a college. See, if you are getting a government college uh, for the dentistry, it is well and good. It's a really very good opportunity. The first thing is that the uh, fees is very low. The second is exposure is good. Okay, So we don't have any doubt that in government college we learn a lot. But while choosing the private college, if by chance if you are not able to get into the uh, government college, it's okay. But think about the private college. Before choosing the private college, the certain things that you need to know is first, the patient flow. You need to know if the college have enough patient flow for your exposure or not. The second is the support of staff. If the staff is not supportive, you are not able to learn new things and you are not going to... Uh, and get access to everything okay so it's really important to have a very supportive staff the third thing is a caring management see if the management is not good for the college then trust me the college is, college is of no use no use at all so for all these things you need to uh, connect with the student who are already studying there walk in the college, talk to the students, know about the patient flow and how much they are getting the patient, the number of patients they are getting. Student is the best person who can give you the best review about the college rather than the staff and their administration. So talk to them. So these are the things that you have to keep in mind before getting admission in the private dental college. At last, I just want to say is no one can decide your future. Being an influencer, being a dentist, uh, people can only guide you in a certain way, tell you the things and give you an overview about the things. But the be best person who can decide for you, you is you yourself. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching the video till end. And if you guys are interested in such videos and you, if you have got any valuable information, then don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe my channel and be the Dental Magic family. Stay tuned till the next video. Till then, stay safe, be happy. Love it.